the question is, and I think this is a big question, which do we prefer? To be lied on or to be lied to? Which? Think about it. Do you prefer to be lied on or to be lied to? And I know the answers are coming, neither of them. However, let's say one has to happen because it's happening in real life. Every day, lies come our way. So which one we would prefer? Which one we would deal with better? Which one we think we can operate with better? I would say none, but we have to choose one. And why? Why do we choose lied on? Why do we choose lied to? Let's see if we can get some more awareness. To be lied on, it's external because the liar is saying what you said. In other words, misrepresenting what you said or what you did. And the liar will be telling that information most times to somebody else. So that's on the outside of you. Yes, I know that a lot of persons hate that. And a lot of persons get irate about that. Really vex. Don't tell any lie on me. And I believe that this is where most attention is being paid to be lied on. So we focus on people not lying on us. Let's look to lied to. Lied to is internal. Yes, it is. Because someone tell you something about yourself that sounds true, but is untrue. Or you can tell yourself something that is untrue, but it sounds true lying to yourself. Something about how someone treats with you that seems true. No, that's lying to you. That's internal. You take that in. We take that in as humans. And the lie is usually something that intimidates us, what makes us trust the liar. So that liar is around us, telling us something, it makes us fearful. And out of that fear, we end up trusting the liar because we feel so protected and safe with the liar. We think that the liar is in our corner doing the best thing for us. And we think that these lies are so true that we buy into them and feel comforted by them. Lying too is a condition that we need to pay much attention to because I am proposing it to you that it is more destructive than lying on you. Because when you're lied to, you take to, you, you, we tend to operationalize those lies and they form our characters too. They actually work inside of us, they stay inside of us and help us to not even believing in, our, in ourselves. Therefore, when we are lied on, I think it's a situation where we can be better able to deal with it because we can ignore it. Yes? We have the strategy to not even listen to it. But when we are lied to, ourselves can lie to ourselves. And that's a dangerous one because it's our spirits taking in that while the lying on is more external. You heard that somebody say something about you. You can just say, oh, that's not true. But when you believe something about yourself that is not true, that's dangerous. Now, let's go. Disarm the liar. Why should we disarm the liar? We should disarm the liar because he's a murderer. The liar comes to murder. The liar comes to hurt us emotionally, mentally, and then in turn, we can hurt ourselves physically. There are some persons who are suicidal, suicide ideations are generated because of what we think about ourselves, that most times it's not true. Maybe what people say about us and we internalize it, it's not true. So St. John chapter eight and verse 44, you know I'm not gonna be leaving out the manual for life. It says you are of your father, 
the devil and you want to carry out your father's desire. So if we have human beings who are telling us lies, we will understand that it's of the spirit of the devil, that negative spirit, that spirit that comes to destroy. And it is saying that that father is a murderer from the beginning. Satan is a murderer. The Bible says so. Jesus says so. Not only the truth. So Satan cannot tell, tell truth. I'm sorry. Satan can only tell lies. He cannot tell truth. So everything that Satan speaks, lie. Somebody says they love you and that person doesn't love you the way God wants love to be. That's a lie. And that's not love. That's lust. And that gets into your mind because you're thinking that that person loves you. So while you were created to reach out for love and to appreciate love, what you're getting is just maybe a body using or some external things, some vain things like money, houses, and you're getting all of that. But you're not feeling good on your inside because you're not feeling that love that should be within you. No. We can go to a number of examples, but we are saying that anything that Satan says is not true because he cannot speak truth. He has a native language and that is lie. The native language of Satan is lying. He's a liar and he's a father of lies. So brothers and sisters, if you find yourself telling lies, you are of your father, the devil, and you are also a murderer because you will only be exploiting people. So to disarm the liar, we have to think of these things, the reason why we need to disarm the liar because we will be murdered, we will be killed. And that murder may not be the cutting of the throat or the shooting with a machine gun or anything like that, but we can self hurt ourselves. In other words, we can be murdered by the way we think yes and that's what the devil does he allows us to murder ourselves well you might not call it murder it has another name as it relates to law but let's look at it it's killing ourselves <laughs> right it's killing ourselves no the bible also say the devil is a thief the same devil who is the father of lies saint john 10 and verse 10 the thief commit not but for to steal to steal your mind to wreck your mind, to create havoc in your mind, to confuse you, to frustrate you, to make you think all kind of things, to give you that headache, and to make you do things that are not to be done, that will destroy you, that will put you into trouble. He comes to kill and to destroy. But Jesus is saying, I am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. And we know that God is truth. Satan is lie. So Satan is a liar as opposed to the other spirit, which is truth. Two spirits, including ours, make three. So one is the spirit of lie and the other is the spirit of truth. So when we speak about the liar, we need to even think about Satan first because he is the orchestrator of lies. So let's move quickly. So we did say to disarm the liar, we have to think of Satan's schemes, the devil's schemes, the murder, destroying and the scammer. He's a murderer, he comes to destroy and he's a scammer. So we have to look at it from that perspective so that we can protect our minds from lying. To disarm the liar, we need to go to part two. So we want you to like, to subscribe and to share and we will move to part two in our next edition. Thank you for listening. Please remember to subscribe so that you can have the next video. Bless you, take care.